we present the first real-time method for intrinsic video decomposition of live video streams. The goal of intrinsic video decomposition is to separate an input video into a shading layer that captures the contribution of the illumination to the appearance of a scene and a reflectance layer that captures the contribution of materials to the appearance of a scene. This decomposition enables a wide range of applications, such as recoloring by replacing colors in the reflectance layer. Recombining these edited layers results in a photorealistically lit recoloring effect. Here we show some decomposition results obtained with our approach. In this sequence, our method successfully decomposes the shadows on the wall and under the hat. Here, the colors of the blocks are consistent in the reflectance layer and the wheels are decomposed well in spite of the motion blur. Our method also handles strong contrast in lighting, such as in this scene. We evaluate our method vis-à-vis -vis the various energy terms in our cost function. Our full approach produces a reflectance layer that is temporally and spatially coherent, even in the presence of drastic illumination changes. Without the chromaticity prior, the colors look faded and temporally incoherent. Without the clustering prior, much shading variation becomes part of the reflectance layer. And without the global prior, the decomposition is not consistent spatially or temporally. We compare our method against current state-of-the-art techniques. Our method performs a consistent decomposition of the toy sequence and also generates a clustered version of the scene. Observe the consistent reflectance of the blue toy blocks in our decomposition. Reflectance from other methods erroneously contains a lot of shading compared to our method. The method of Yen Polix decomposes this synthetic sequence in three hours. Our method obtains similar results in real time. Here, our decomposition successfully isolates the shading from the leaves. Our method also works well for outdoor scenes such as this synthetic sequence. Here we compare to the ground truth decomposition on the left. Our decomposition better handles the tree and the wall in the background. No current approach, including ours, is able to disambiguate the colored lighting from the reflectance layer for complex scenes such as this. Note that we still obtain more plausible results at 10 times faster frame rate. We demonstrate some applications made possible by live intrinsic video. We present live illumination aware recoloring. Note that the lighting from the cell phone interacts realistically with the recolored t-shirt. To test a more challenging scenario, we perform offline recoloring of a multicolored shirt. Our recoloring results show minor texture copy artifacts due to residual texture in the shading layer. Such artifacts can be fixed by user interaction in offline scenarios, but still remain a challenge for live video streams. By tone mapping the shading layer, material editing effects can be achieved on objects. On the left, we modify the cushion to look like velvet, and on the right, we make the yellow cloth look shiny. Note that the rest of the scene remains the same. For the first time, we introduce photorealistic retexturing in real time. We texture a Van Gogh painting on the board and track it using a real time sparse feature tracker. Observe that the naive texturing does not interact with the spotlight and shadows while our inserted texture looks photorealistic. We are also able to texture over existing textures. We test our texturing technique with global lighting effects by dimming the lights. While our texture interacts with the light realistically, the naive texturing does not adapt to the changing brightness. We can also retexture whole areas, for example as a brick wall. Using intrinsic texturing, shadows appear realistic. We can also replace the existing texture. We paint a leaf decal on the box. Note the different shading of the leaves depending on which side of the box they are on.
We also perform a comparison with the offline intrinsic texturing approach by Bonnell and colleagues on the house sequence. We obtain comparable results as shown. We also present live abstraction and stylization of video streams. We achieve this by overlaying the strong edges of the shading layer onto the reflectance layer. The actors are made to appear cartoonish. Kermit the Frog is converted to a 2D cartoon. Such applications are now possible in real time with our technique Live Intrinsic Video.